Some would say I'm crazy. Some would say I'm not. We're getting a second baby. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah, we're getting another baby. Let's do this. Okay, so today we were at a visit for baby R and his mother. And we got a phone call from our agency asking us if we wanted to take in another child. Okay, we need to get a bottle going. And um, I don't know what it was, but in my gut, automatically just said yes. And um, <laughs> I've done this before, y'all know I can do it. It is hard, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be difficult. It's not easy doing this with two children. Um, but I don't have fear. I, I don't feel scared. I just feel like it is what it is. And I'm excited. There was something in my gut that said, say yes, from the beginning. Like I almost didn't even need to hear the details. I just was like, yeah, let's do it. So right now it's Tuesday night. Um, the baby today is only three days old. Uh, it's looking like I might go to the hospital tomorrow and pick him up, uh, but I might not. I might, they might be bringing him to me. I'm not 100% sure, um, but we'll see how it goes. I hope I can go to the hospital because that's really exciting to pick them up from the hospital. So we'll see. Today is the same day as every day. I'm just gonna keep it chill feed this guy. It's five o'clock. We need to go to the storage and pick up a bunch of the other extra stuff. Thankfully, I still have a car seat. I still have the stroller that fits two children. You know, I still have a lot of things for a second child. Something at all has always told me don't get rid of those things. I still have a bunch of newborn baby clothing. That's super cute. Um, something just said don't get rid of this stuff for months and now I see why. So. I need to eat, he needs to eat. We need to get to the storage within the hour. And yeah. Okay guys, <laughs> it's exciting. Okay, I'm pulling up to the hospital. We are there. Um, they said just follow the big H, hospital H sign. So I don't know. I don't really know where to go because I've never been to this hospital and it's a huge campus, but I'm so excited. I took uh, baby R to a babysitter because I just want to be able to focus on baby J and um, just focus. So we're here, things are exciting. I talked to the social workers and everything. Woo, baby! I'm so baby. Ah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna focus. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so we have parked. I just ran into someone named Alex. He watches the YouTube. So sweet of you to recognize me. And actually really nice to meet you. But we're here. We are here. I hope I'm going in the right entrance. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but we're here. And I'm really excited, like legitimately excited. But y'all know me, I'm always excited about this, so. Okay, look, they've got their holiday wreath up. All right, it's time to go inside. No more cameras for the inside moments, friends. No more. I'll check you when I get out of here. Woo, okay, baby boy is four days old. I just met him. He is so adorable. I got this little bag they gave me of stuff. Got my baby bag here. So the deal is I am going to go get my car and they will um, bring him down to me to put in the car seat. Um, they, they gave me a number, they said, call this number when you bring the car up to the roundabout, which I believe is this right here. And um, when I'm there, they'll bring him down and then we go home. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. He, the little dude is four days old, um, so tiny. 
and I'm so excited to give him a home and love this kid. And just, the more I do this, the more I learn like how it actually important it is that these children feel love at this point in their life. And they just, they feel like, you just learn how important it is that, that bonding and the touch, skin to skin, all of it, they need it. Every child needs it. So, and I like being a part of that. I like helping and being that, being that for them. Okay, we're at the hospital, so you know it's getting loud. Ah! Here he comes. He's in there. <laughs> okay. We got little man in there. He's here. Oh my God, he's already there sleeping. Sleeping sound. So we know that these little ones sleep a lot during the day. So we'll see how he goes. As he grows, they get more aware of who they are and um, they have more personality, let's just say that. But he's here. Oh my God. Okay, time to get home. I gotta go pick up baby R. <laughs> So we've got baby R here, and we've got baby J. And as I'm driving home, I'm just thinking to myself, man, we are far more capable in life of things than we, than we realize. Because if you've been following this journey, you know that I've had two children at one time before, being a single person and all that jazz. And I don't know, just like the more I think about things, it's like, I'm totally capable of this. Will it be difficult? Absolutely. Will it be hard? Yes, it will. Will it try my patience from time to time? Yes, it will. But at the end of the day, like there's two beautiful baby boys in my backseat right now. And I couldn't be more happy and grateful and I feel blessed. <clears throat> And I don't know. I just think we're capable of far more than we realize in life. And it's almost like when you're pushed to an extreme, you know, or or you're, you know, stretched to an extreme, like you find out what you're really, really capable of in life. And I know I'm a strong person and nobody's gonna tell me any different. You can tell me different, but I'm not gonna believe it because I know who I am as a person. And that's that. <laughs> Time to get these kids inside. It's raining. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. My life right now. Look at this. <laughs> There's two humans asleep in there. Like, oops. <laughs> as I'm like, this is just crazy. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> I'm like driving home and thinking like, whoa. And that, there was like, I'd say there was like 5%. Like, what are you doing? But I don't know, like there, it's just the majority of it all was like, yep. Yep, without a doubt. Oh my God, like this is so tight in this car. <laughs> in the elevator. Mm. So we'll see how this goes. We have a visit with baby, um, so all these baby letters. I wanna say their real names. Baby R's um, mother today and her grand grandmother. It's only a short one hour visit. So, you know, I, I would prefer to not have done this on the same day, but it is what it is. So let's get inside. Let's get inside and then we have to go to the visit. So we have like an hour before we have to be there and I want to get this little dude changed out of the hospital clothes into something a little bit nicer and better. So I'm going to get inside and get that taken care of and um, my wreath is still up. Christmas tree's still up. I got to get it all done. Okay. Bye. We'll see you in a little bit. So here's where we're at. <laughs> 
baby R is asleep in the other room. And baby J is still sleeping. Um, he woke up a little bit, but I put the pacifier in and he's, you know, he's sucking while he's sleeping, you know. Um, I, we gotta go to the visit. Uh, so I wanna get him changed into something, you know, warmer. A lot of times the baby clothes from the hospital are a little too big. Um, so I'm changing him. He is so fat, fragile. I'm just like keeping him as, doing it as delicately as possible. Um, he's so little. Healthy baby boy. Great scores on everything. <clears throat> um, so get him changed, get out to the visit, and then, you know, we'll go from there. And we have a quick visit, and then we're gonna come home. And, you know, like at these points, I don't like to like do much when a new baby arrives because there's a lot to learn. I have to learn the baby, and yeah. He's gonna change so much over the next couple weeks, the next couple months. Um, he's starting to wake up. I have to learn the baby, and I have to learn, you know, what it's like with baby R and him. Um, so there's just a lot to do in the first couple weeks. I do need to go out to Target and buy some these pants are too big. Buy some newborn pants, because I have zero to three. Actually, these are newborn, but he's so tiny. I'm probably gonna buy preemie, um, just because he's tiny. Um, so we'll, we'll probably do that after the visit, just run over to Target real quick. Maybe I'll even do just like the drop off at the car when they bring it to your car. Other than that, thought I heard baby or but he's still quiet other than that you know everything's great with him oh rest you right there we've got this little guy precious as all ever Just watch that foot here you go okay actually we're gonna do this bottle so that I can burp him after and then we'll give this guy this bottle. My goodness, here we go. He's nice and safe. I actually like to cover him up just a little bit so he feels super warmth. Oh my gosh, what a day. So we're finally in the house. This little nugget right here got his diaper changed. He watched some TV. He has seen him, obviously. But he's been really preoccupied with TV and just getting in the house. I haven't put them like, I haven't like let them touch each other yet, you know? <clears throat> so, cause in the past I've put the two babies, like let them lay next to each other. So I haven't done that yet. I'm excited to see how you are. Are you gonna teach him how to be a good boy? Are you gonna teach him how to be a good boy? Huh? Yeah, you are. So, so far, so good. He's an inf he's a newborn, so we know he sleeps, 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 sleeps. I think we got a burp coming here. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Oh, okay, buddy. So this is life right now, and I'm so excited for it. I love it. I know. And that's that. So little. I know. Let's get one burp out. Whoa! That was a big one. You ready to try the new tramogen? Yeah, you're so little. Let me have that head. Okay, you ready? There you go. Hi. Is this your 
Is this your new friend? Is this your new friend? Oh, oh, get them toes. Get them toes. Give me that feet. Give me that feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me that feet. Don't you kick me. Hi, baby boy. Hi. You got a lot of hair. Eyebrows for days. Careful. Be careful, okay? You can't take too much at one time. I'm gonna finish this up and then probably chill a little bit, play. I like to get this one going in the six o'clock hour, playing, get some of that energy out. And then we do, uh, all right, let's burp a little bit. And then we do um, bath at seven. You guys have seen that video. Oh, okay. So fragile. Oh, baby boy. Oh, baby boy. There we go. Can I get one burp? So that's it for now, guys. Um, you see the baby? You see the baby? Uh-huh. Uh, that's it for now. <laughs> well, I'll be back. <laughs> so, this is the reality, okay? I'm like setting the bath up. Of course, baby R is crying because the babies cry. Look how dirty this place is. All this stuff. Look at this. That's not even the, that's not even the end of it. I just tripped almost over something. It's okay, buddy. Look at this. It's filthy. All of this, my friends, all of it. See, we're getting the bath started. All of this is because new baby's here and I had to unpack all the newborn stuff. It was just crazy. It's been crazy. So I'm gonna put this boy in the bath, get things taken care of. And um, I think that's about it for today. Um, we'll see, I might record more. If not, thank you guys for watching. And oh my God, I'm just so happy today. I'm so, so happy. Buddy, buddy, are you excited? Are you excited? He's like, if you don't just take care of me and put me in this bath. All right, peace out. I love you all. More to come. Bye.